T today, the arms race is intensifying, and the main battle tanks of various countries play a pivotal role in this modern hard power showdown. The importance of systematic combat has been emphasized, but the hard power competition between tanks is still an important factor in determining victory or defeat. Some people may think that in today's battlefield, it is no longer important to overemphasize the hard power comparison of tanks. However, the ancient saying you need to be hard to make iron still has profound truth to this day. In the future arms race and actual combat, the duel between these two main battle tanks will be a real hard power competition, and will also determine the status and role of tanks in modern warfare. The M1 series main battle tanks have always been famous for their powerful firepower, mobility and protection capabilities. However, as it was gradually upgraded and improved, some problems gradually emerged. Especially in terms of power system, the M1 series main battle tanks have always used the AGT-1500 engine. Although it initially provided ample power, as the weight of the tank continued to increase, its power-to-weight ratio gradually declined. The weight of the newly improved M1A2 SEP version 3 has reached an astonishing 73.6 US tons, and the power-to-weight ratio has worsened to 22.7 horsepower ton. In contrast, China's Type 99, a main battle tank, uses a 150 HB2 diesel engine in its power system, which can also reach 1,500 horsepower. However, because the vehicle is relatively light, its power-to-weight ratio reaches 27.27 horsepower ton, which is obviously better than M1 series. In future battlefield mobility comparisons, the Type 99A may occupy a place due to its advantage in power-to-weight ratio. Firepower level has always been a key factor in tank competitions. The M1 series of main battle tanks have attracted much attention for their powerful artillery and armor-piercing projectiles. In particular, the M829 series of tail-stabilized discarding Sabo armor-piercing projectiles use depleted uranium cores and have the characteristics of high penetration depth and high power. However, there has been controversy about the firepower output speed of the M1 series. Although the official propaganda claims that manual loading is one round in five seconds. In actual battlefield conditions, due to the influence of human factors, the loading speed is often difficult to reach the advertised level. In comparison, the Type 99, a main battle tank, uses an automatic loader, and the loading speed is more stable. This gives the Type 99 a greater advantage in firepower output, especially in sustained combat. Whether the firepower of the M1 series is more amazing or the firepower output of the Type Type 99A is more reliable is a question that has attracted much attention. The protection capability is directly related to the tank's survivability on the battlefield. There have been rumors about the depleted uranium armor of the M1 series. However, according to the US Nuclear Regulatory Commission's investigation report, the actual number of vehicles equipped with depleted uranium armor is very limited. Moreover, the protective effect against first down bullets is not as absolute as rumored. Swedish armor tests show that the M1A2's front body only has 380 mm of KE protection, and its protection against small caliber armor piercing projectiles is only 750 mm CE. In contrast, the Type 99, a main battle tank, claimed as early as 2011 that its frontal protection is equivalent to 700 mm of homogeneous armor, and its body protection is equivalent to 600 mm of homogeneous armor. Coupled with the independently developed new type of reactive armor, the thickness of its protective layer is equivalent to 1000 to 1200 mm of homogeneous armor. This makes 99A significantly ahead of the M1 series in terms of protection level. In this tank battle, the Type 99A main battle tank showed strong hard power. The comprehensive advantages of mobility, firepower level and protection capabilities make the Type 99A one of the most dangerous competitors to the M1 series main battle tanks. In future military exercises and actual combat, we will wait and see whether the Type 99A can truly shake the dominance of the M1 series. The contrast of hard power may add new color to the battle for main battle tanks in modern warfare. However, to fully understand the hard power comparison between tanks, 
we cannot just look at superficial data and technical parameters. The actual battlefield environment involves complex terrain, climate and tactical applications. These factors also have a profound impact on the performance of tanks. In this regard, the M1 series main battle tanks have always been praised for their adaptability in various environments. The US military has gradually optimized the design of the M1 through long-term actual combat experience so that it can exert stable combat effectiveness under different battlefield conditions. Especially in desert areas, the M1 series main battle tanks have demonstrated strong mobility and durability. This is due to its excellent suspension system and powerful power system, which allows the M1 to maneuver quickly in the desert environment and quickly adapt to changing battlefield situations. This was fully verified in the Gulf War and the M1's outstanding performance in the desert was eye-catching. In comparison, although China's 99A main battle tank has excellent performance in a wide range of terrain conditions, its adaptability in desert areas is relatively lacking. This is mainly due to the fact that the design of the Type 99A is more focused on adapting to China's rich terrain, including plateaus, mountains and other complex landforms. Therefore, if it encounters the M1 series main battle tanks on a desert battlefield. The Type 99A may face some adaptability challenges. In addition, in today's informationized warfare, tanks' combat systems and networking capabilities have also become part of hard power. The M1 series of main battle tanks has always been in a leading position in this regard. Its advanced communication system and data processing capabilities enable it to better integrate into the modern networked combat system. This provides M1 with more powerful command and control capabilities, which is conducive to achieving combat advantages under information-based conditions. In comparison, the development of informatization of the Type 99, a main battle tank, is relatively late. Although China has made significant progress in the field of information technology in recent years, there is still a certain gap between the tank's networking capabilities and the M1 series. This also means that in possible future information wars, the M1 series main battle tanks may have certain advantages in command coordination and combat effectiveness. However, just as hard power is not the only factor that determines the outcome of the war, the battle for tanks is not just a confrontation of hard power. Factors such as tactical application, combat experience, and logistical support are also crucial. Therefore, even if the Type 99A shows advantages in some aspects, it still needs to conduct a more comprehensive confrontation with the M1 series main battle tanks on the actual battlefield to verify its true strength in a complex combat environment. To sum up, the hard power comparison between tanks includes not only technical parameters and performance indicators, but also involves many aspects such as battlefield environment, combat systems and networking capabilities. The M1 series main battle tanks and the Type 99A main battle tanks each have their own advantages and uniqueness.